I just got one for my client in St. Louis. Um, it's for a construction company. They have multiple locations around uh, Missouri. It's about 100 users um, in and outside the office. And then um, they actually ended up getting another, uh, acquiring another company. So we might be able to help with that. But um, we're going to go in and see what ways we can help with the co-managed situation since they already have an IT director. And the owner had actually asked me to reach out to the IT director once they had him hired. Um, so they just hired, we got the meeting set up, it should be a really, really good one. I got a couple of back-to-back -back appointments for my client up in Cincinnati earlier today. Um, one was with a healthcare group of some kind. Um, they're currently under contract, but the contract is up in August, so he's looking at options right now, kind of getting ahead of things. Um, they have about 80 users um, and a couple servers on-prem. Um, there's a couple things that he said that his current IT company could improve on, so we're going to meet with him next month in person. Uh, and then the other company was a manufacturing company. Um, we talked with the IT director who I was pointing in the direction of from the president. Um, currently they're using a company for some support, but he has one time a year where he talks to other vendors and kind of sees, sees if anything piques his interest, um, you know, like see if we can be an option for him in the future. So we're going to go out there and talk with him in a couple weeks and see what we can do. They have about 40 users and um, a couple servers on-prem, so should be pretty, some pretty good ones. Pretty unique one from a guy down in Tennessee. Uh, Third on the week for him. He's very pumped about this one. We're gonna start as a phone call, uh, but it's, it's with this law firm that's having problems uh, when it comes to consolidating their IT expenditures. They currently have guys working with uh, they're working with that does IT, another company that do phones, and another company that do physical security systems. Uh, she said they're putting out an audit, and whenever they're having problems, one company fights with the other. The delay bigger back with them, uh, and I literally pitched the whole consolidating. She said, yeah, that might actually be something we are looking at. We're looking at uh, over the next year or so, consolidating everything with one firm. Didn't realize one firm could even do physical security systems, too. So currently, the meeting is going to be it's a phone call to start off with uh, for next Tuesday, 2 o'clock. But they currently have about 50 computers, about 50 phone systems, and a handful of security systems. Uh, I didn't get the server. She was running into another meeting. But it's, it's looking pretty good. I think it's going to be a solid conversation that I'm, I even told my guy about. And uh, what he said was when they finished the conversation, he's going to try to spin for an in-person meeting next. So really good one, pretty good one. Very happy about it. I got one for my digital marketing client. Um, I had been talking to the director of marketing at this nursing home, and she was getting ready to leave the company. She thought it'd be more appropriate to talk to um, her replacement when she returned. I finally got her on the phone, the, the new marketing director, and she wanted to meet with us later this month. She's going to talk to her board of directors to see what their budget looks like, see what their needs look like, and then you know we'll give them the full pitch to see what makes sense. Um, they just have one location. Um, it seems like their budget might be a little better than other prospects we've been meeting. So it, uh, it should be a good opportunity. Um, and then I got one from my Spokane client. Uh, the president immediately asked me to come out there on site next week. About 50 users, server on-prem. Um, they're at risk exposure. Um, wanting tighter security. They have no one monitoring their infrastructure proactively at this time. Uh, in-house, a couple guys outsourced, but it doesn't really sound like they're getting a lot of help, so it should be a good one to go in there and hopefully close it. So just scheduled an appointment for my client out in Lubbock, Texas. It is for a nursing home. Um, they have about 140 locations, but um, they were open to talking. They don't like their current uh, managed service provider that they're working with, um, so I sent my client to meet with them next week. Um, they have around 35 users, so it should be a pretty good one. Hey, welcome to your no-cap recap. This is Brock Blair. So just got an appointment for one of my clients in Ohio. It's with this big four-location manufacturer. Uh, it was with the IT administrator. Uh, he's actually located in North Carolina, uh, but they have a couple of offices uh, local to where my client is. Um, you know, unsure of the amount of users, it's pretty large. Uh, given the four locations, but he wants to kind of be open to, to meeting with our client to kind of see exactly what we could do for him, our services and how they fit in with their current IT environment. Uh, you know, currently the only thing they're using a IT company like us for is to host their servers virtually. Um, so he's going to be kind of looking for 
some additional support to offload to a company like us to help out with the day-to-day -day activities. Uh, so he can kind of focus on um, his job more at each of the couple locations in North Carolina. Um, so it should be a pretty good meeting. It's a team's meeting uh, set for a couple weeks down the road, and my client is looking forward to it. So it should be a pretty good one. All right, so got an appointment today for my client in Utah. It is with a um, manufacturing company, kind of, kind of small-ish, 20 users. Uh, they're currently using uh, a really large competitor. But I spoke with him back in November, and he is open to exploring options. He wanted me to give him a call back in the new year, and I haven't been able to get him. But I called to sell today, and he picked up. He's actually traveling, so I got him uh, at a good time. And he remembered me. He was open to uh, meeting still, so we set up a time in person for the week of the 23rd, I believe. So we're going to go out there, meet with them, give them some numbers, uh, and just see if there is a fit. Hopefully, they're coming up at the end of their contract and uh, we can get in there and be their new uh, MSP. I got one today for my client in North Carolina. Um, it's a little bit smaller electric company, about six users. Been chasing them for a while, spoke with the owner a while back, uh, kind of made a joke that he didn't even know how to turn a computer on, so pointed me to his son. Um, followed up with him here and there over the last few months, been playing email tag with him for the last month or so. Finally got him on the phone, found some time, so he's going to meet with my CEO next week. Really don't have a whole lot in place right now, more just a break fix situation. Wanted to kind of see what a managed services role would look like. So like I said, that's set for next Friday and should be a good conversation. Just booked an appointment this morning for uh, my IT guy in uh, St. John's, Canada with a law firm. Actually called them at the exact right time where they were uh, looking for uh, some cybersecurity to outsource. So called them at the right time. They're going to meet with Kevin and uh, it's going to be a good one. Today I got a meeting for my client Bazango. Uh, it's with a contractor looking at up and up their website. We've been talking since October. Uh, each conversation, it has been relevant on the website, so I know they're interested. Uh, when we talked today for the third time, he said, I'm super duper busy, what's up? I, I laid it out, I let him know we're busy too. We got a meeting scheduled for the end of the month uh, to talk about it, and he's interested in some marketing as well, but didn't want to go into too many details because, well, like I said, he's busy. Super excited to see what we can do with him. All right, so I got an appointment for my client in New Jersey. Spoke with the IT manager over there. Um, so yeah. they do a hybrid setup. So whenever he can't handle anything, he calls a company. So I said, hey, we can be that company you call for. Let me set you up with my boss, Devon, to see what we can do for you. And he said Monday at 3 p.m. works. So got that scheduled. Hopefully the meeting goes well and we can be there provided. Uh, so I set two appointments the other day, uh, one for each of my clients. Uh, one was they're looking to replace their current MSP, he's about to retire, and they're also looking for someone who has a better help desk, uh, which is a pretty good one. Uh, the other one, uh, they're looking to shop around, uh, looking for a guy more of a break-fix scenario, but they like that he's local, and uh, we'll see what happens. My guy, I uh, was actually with a law office for uh, my digital marketing agency in Tulsa. They wanted a proposal first. Uh, he got the proposal, I followed back up with him today, he liked it, and he wants to have a screen share with our owner, Heather, uh, to go over you know exactly what they plan to do to keep his SEO fresh so it's gonna be a good one. Uh, got one for my client in uh, Little Rock today. Um, it's a guy that I was talking to. He yeah, told me he says. currently had something okay. in place uh, yeah, to go to the roof, but uh, right. that's kind of flipped it on him. Um, yeah, he was asking so me a couple then, questions so I uh, told him my, no. my guys could give him a call and uh, give him a quote yeah. and that way he has something else to look at and he's like yeah uh, he said, uh, think that that's hey, not actually a bad idea so uh, yeah set him up on, on a uh, pretty good appointment uh, so I look forward to should be a that good call uh, hey my name is Adam Broughton this is the last day of my internship and just knocked out a 4P you know Friday how's everybody feeling <clears throat> you feeling good good awesome we have 16 so far today and 97 first time partner appointments on the week that's awesome. Right? Flexors, I know you're going to take off, and I'll keep a quick break because it's Friday. But man, let's let's at least find three more. Let's find three more and hit 100. That's a that's a killer thing. Um, it sounds like somebody was down doing a, a video today for a closed deal. Roger. Roger. Where's Roger? Heck yeah, man. How'd it feel? Uh, felt good. First one? First one, yeah. First video, Justin? Sorry, he's got my first arsenal in two and a half years. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to him nonetheless. Great, great. And then let's go have a great weekend, okay? Did you close the deal, Sam? 
Uh, Justin gave me a live transfer. We're talking on Monday, and I got a text from another guy pitched last week. Boom! Who called me and said, please call me. So, awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna